All right, the first forecast for the 2023 hurricane season is out today. And the good news is that it's calling for a below average season. But of course, there's always more to it than that. Right. And your local weather expert, Chief Meteorologist Chris Franklin, is joining us now to break down this new forecast. Please tell me it's looking good. Yeah, it is looking good for us, at least in terms of the total number of storms that we could see this season. Of course, what it doesn't tell you is where these storms may go and what impacts we would see. So the prediction is basically just below an average season with 13 named storms, six of those becoming hurricanes and two major. We were expecting it to either be average or just below average based on the fact that we are expecting to see a strengthening El Nino. What that does basically in terms of the tropics for us is it increases wind shear across the Caribbean and the tropical Atlantic. What that does is as those thunderstorms try and grow higher into the atmosphere to organize these stronger upper winds, cut those tops off and prevent them from even happening. That is the case over the tropical Atlantic and the Caribbean. It is not, though, a factor in the Gulf of Mexico. So when we talk about an El Nino season, it's great that we usually are not going to see quite as much activity down to our south, but it is not quite the case for more of those home grown type storms that could develop. Again, we are still a few months away, maybe about a month and a half away from hurricane season, so we still have time to prepare. We'll talk more about our forecast, which does include another cold front in a few minutes. All right, Chris, thank you so much. Well, the rain held off.